guys it is happening welcome to a quick update video there is something incredible happening here and i am just blown away by, by what i've just seen can you spot this can you spot what you're seeing here this is an animal diving it is, is, it, it is diving there are fish it's i i cannot believe i am i am hype okay i am legit hype um this is what we've dreamed for for such a long time and there's this update 1.4 announced right here we jump right into the descriptive here if my computer wants to finally do this uh i can't just switch uh, between these tabs for whatever reason uh what is what is this what is, what is this even i'm gonna switch quickly all right, there we go. We switched over to the actual tab and you can see in the background this diving picture. I am completely blown away because I have, I have hoped for it, but I've not dreamed about it until it is finally here. So you can tell there is diving in the game. We are proud to reveal more of what we've been working on. Great. Water temperature regulator with update 1.4 will be able uh, editing, uh, editing, oh my God, my English is already broken. Temperature regulator for facilities that will allow you to customize the temperature of all water volumes in its range range oh my god this is great because we we know why we need this okay we all know why we need this um there will be also a new heat map added to the water overview the current range of the water temperature the temperature of each water uh, blah 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 so that's good underwater feed uh, feeder that's also so good I'm, I'm so hyped i'm sorry for that but it's just incredible the underwater box feeder a new feeding station will be available as part of the free update for now the only animal that will use uh, in the game is saltwater crocodile, um, but we will be adding this to more animals in the future. Interesting. When using this feeder, like any other food enrichment, uh, its information panel will provide you with details on its food capacity, usage by animals and food uh, suitability. Additionally, there will be a status bar that will tell you if the feeder has been placed deep enough. Interesting. Even though I have my, I may have some, some concerns about this. Um, but we will we will understand uh, later. Then, update 1.4 will include a new management screen that will summarize all of the transport rides in the zoo. This screen will enable you to make faster and more accurate decisions about your transport rides uh, to better manage your zoo. The new overview tab will, the number of different rides, blah, 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 and so on. Um, very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. What else is new? The management tab will allow you to... So, quite a lot of and, uh, nice things over here. Um, and then we have the management, bloop, the number of trains, okay? Um, ticket price. I wonder why this is. Maybe we get a new transport ride in the future. Who knows? Uh, I haven't seen anything. And then we have the animal talks. We do know about these already. Is there anything new over here? Select the music, see if placement. No, that's all what we knew. All what we knew. What is that? Edit creativity. We can't wait to see what you do. Free scene wrapped up. They will bring you a set of uh, decal decorations. Oh my god, what? Decals? That is insane. Hopefully they work exactly like as in as in uh, City Skylands because that would like sketch marks and stuff like that and, and maybe some weathering effects. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Two new guest paths, uh, one new queue path and two variants of pre-existing queue path. A new font for your 3D letters, 2D letters and range of foliage. Oh my god, this seems to be huge. We love seeing what you create and we're looking forward to quality of life. Thanks to suggestion feedback, we've added a new feature. Multi-select for franchise mode animal storage. Something that has been requested. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we can... Okay, before we end this here, guys, um, we can already tell that this is definitely also um, hinting at a DLC that may come. The only little thing I want to point out right now over here is, and I'm trying to go back uh, in this, this action over here, this is the picture we have. I really do hope that uh, there's also something, see there's something swimming in the water that looks like an enrichment item of some sort. Uh, I don't know what exactly that is, but it looks very much like boys or something around, like if there's a net or whatever. Um, but just in general, I really do hope that that this is not meant to be like that the food item means that there is a dedicated animation for diving only in this environment that would be something of a of a little bit of a disappointment at least we have some diving then but um i'm just wondering if this is related to the diving itself we will see i guess rather soon but this will now give us the um the idea already that uh there will be a, a DLC of some sort of aquatic animals now. And consider me hyped, guys, because that is finally something I have been looking into for so, so long. And 
I, yeah, I will, I will not judge it finally now. I'm hoping that the hype is going to be crazy, but um, we will see. We will see what's coming up next. Um, until then, uh, I, I call it a day. I put the link in the description as always, and you guys can check it out. Um, but for, for now, that should be it with the update. Uh, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So uh, see you in a bit.